Hey all, your OS reviews. Today we're taking a closer look at the PAMU Nanos. These are TWS wireless buds from Padmate, a company that we've checked out a number of times in the past, and they make some pretty solid TWS wireless buds, such as the Quiets that were launched last year and had this stem-based design, active noise cancellation. Although all of their buds have been looking pretty similar in terms of the shape of the buds, like this is the Quiet Minis, and even the other ones that had kind of a scroll-like design still had that stem. But finally, in their new pair of buds, we're seeing a different shape for the buds. They're not just reusing the same thing or kind of an IEM in your monitor style shape. It's going to be much more compact, doesn't have anything sticking out, and a bit more of an ergonomic fit. These are called the Nanos because the battery case is the most compact that they've made yet. It also supports Qi wireless charging. They do have IPX6 rating, so it's going to be splash proof and rain proof. It's using a pretty good Qualcomm 3020 chip, so it supports the Qualcomm APTX audio Kodak, along with standards like SBC and AAC. As far as battery life, it has 21 hours with the case, and then when removed, the buds themselves will last for around 6 to 7 hours of continuous audio listening. 6.1 millimeter dynamic drivers, which are graphene coated, so it should give us pretty decent sound. I haven't been disappointed yet with their other models in terms of the audio performance for the money's worth, so hopefully that's the same case here. And these actually sell for under 50 bucks, so they're also relatively affordable, although the price of TWS buds have started to really come down over the past few months. So this is just keeping in line now with the competition. And then inside of the packaging itself, it's pretty well presented. We do have another internal box that says PAMU Nanos. And inside of here, you'll also see a little sleeve that documents how to set it up. But I've already taken them out, of course, for testing purposes. And this is the black version and what it looks like. We'll take a closer look in a moment. Other accessories here include spare silicon tips to get a more snug fit. We also get the usual quick user guide, as well as a USB Type-C charging cable if you don't want to use Qi wireless charging, and a quick carrying pouch. It's constructed out of a polycarbonate plastic, but overall it's quite lightweight and definitely smaller compared to their other products like the Quiets, as you can see there. Granted, these don't have active noise cancellation, so it's one feature that is missing, but we do get a more clean overall package. And here's a contrast with standard Apple AirPods in terms of the casing, so actually still a little bit larger than the AirPod case, but not too far off. These are both going to be pretty easy to put into pockets. We do have an interesting design on the front here that actually has LED lights that will glow to tell you if it's charging and how much percentage of the battery case is left out of four LEDs. In fact, if we pop it onto the top of this Qi wireless charger, you can see that the charging indication here instantly begins to flash, and it will take around two hours to completely charge in a Qi mode. Using the Type-C cable, it will charge up in around one hour. Otherwise, we do have just a Type-C port on the very top, some basic branding info, and the door opens up sideways like this to present the buds on top. And they, again, remind me a bit more of in-ear monitors or IEMs that artists performing on concerts might wear with their shape. And this is actually where the LEDs are located. So it just is able to be transparent through the fabric on the top, which is a pretty clever design. It's magnetic, so it doesn't fall out even if you give it a bit of a shake. And they're very easy to just quickly pop in for charging them up. And afterwards, you can see that the buds will just turn on to life when removed from the case. And taking a closer look at the design of these nano buds, we can see that we have a touch control on the surface here, which allows us to do pretty much everything, including volume. You can simply hold for a second on the left or the right side to turn the volume higher or lower. You can also tap once to play and pause your music, and also double tap to skip tracks. Overall, the commands worked pretty well in terms of their responsiveness. What I will say though is as with smaller bud designs like these, the microphone is gonna be further away from your mouth compared to a stem that they had from before that was a little bit closer down. And as a result, the call quality or the mic quality is gonna be slightly more compromised. These will work better for music listening and looking much more discreet and almost invisible as you're wearing it. And it is a very ergonomic shape. It's almost like a triangle, but conforms to the shape of your canals uh, when you're wearing them. One thing I will point out though is when you are wearing these buds, it basically fits in like this. So well, from the outside, it seems like the text is going to be sideways. 
Moving to audio quality and performance, I'm pleased to report that these are as good sounding as their other past generation buds, including the Pamu Quiets, which are still very solid uh, to this day to get plenty of bass. So in the lower frequency, as a drum beat hits, or if you're listening to EDM style music, you'll be able to really enjoy that kick, although it doesn't overpower the mids or the trebles either. You still get plenty of details with vocals and instrumentals as a whole, enjoyable for pop music and pretty much any genre. I tried them with. They were also quite comfortable again for the full about six hours of listening time before I needed to pop them back in for a quick recharge. Now the connectivity is also very solid. Again, thanks to the Qualcomm APTX chipset, you're able to get very low latency. You can watch videos on YouTube and Netflix, and there is nothing that gets out of sync between the left and right sides. One thing I will say though is it doesn't have a dedicated low latency gaming mode. It just relies on that Qualcomm chip, which is already pretty good, but with some dedicated gaming modes that we've seen on some other buds, it's able to further reduce the lag a bit when you're doing something that requires faster reaction time. Padmate does have a companion application that we've seen from their previous products. However, support for these newest nano buds haven't been added onto the app just yet. So right now, the app seems to only work with the Pamu Quiets and the other ones that they've released in the past. It's not the most advanced application, but will allow you to do some basic things like remapping the controls to different things. If you prefer double tapping, for instance, to change the volume instead, you can do that but it hasn't been updated at the moment of this video's release. So that's more or less it as far as our very quick hands-on review of the PAMU Nanos. Again, affordable TWS wireless buds, which do have a, a fairly distinctive and compact design for the buds themselves, which are comfortable to wear, have a more in-ear style that's almost invisible without a larger stem on the outside, controls are pretty responsive, and audio quality is also very solid. If you want to check out more details, you can find them in the links down below, but for now that's been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews, that's been the PAMU Nanos.